First of all, I want to say hello and welcome to FinSight. My name is Big George, and today we're going to do a workout, a bit of an instructional video, of course. I have my friend here, Ms. Jennifer, who's going to help me out, and we're going to do a little bit of training. This is going to be a seven-minute total body workout, okay? Let's go. Okay, Jen. Now, right now, we're going to start with chest, okay? We're going to have Jennifer on a stability ball, and right now you see her in position. Now, you have two positions that you can be in. Right now, Jennifer's doing the harder position where you have to now keep your back straight. We have to watch this. You have to keep your low back pulled in. You have to keep your glutes tight, hamstrings tight. Notice where her head is placed. Okay, Jen, let's start pressing. That's it. Let's bring the dumbbells down and come all the way up. Jennifer's bringing the dumbbells down to the shoulders, and as she's coming up, as you notice, she's coming down and coming up like the letter A. This is why we call it the A press. The meaning for it or the reason for it is that we want to include now the mid pecs. So as we're stretching the pecs, we're also bringing the pecs together. Very good, Jen. Don't forget to breathe. Come up. Come down nice and slow. Remember, breathing is important. I don't have to roll anybody out of here. Okay? Come down. Come up. Let's just get two more. Up. Back down, come up and squeeze the muscle and stretch. Excellent. Let's drop. Okay, now, remember I said in the beginning that there are two methods or two ways to do the chest press on the stability ball. Now that Jen has finished the first way, we're going to show you the easier way now, okay, or should I say less pressure way to work the chest. What she's now going to do from going to, from a straight bridge, she's now going to lower her pelvis. Okay, so now, she's, all she's doing, dropping the pelvis, this way now, her neck and her upper back is supported just a little bit more. And now what's going to happen, you're also going to work another section of the pecs. We're going to work a little bit more upper pec. Okay. Jen, let's press down and come straight up. And remember, you always want to be directly over the muscle group. Okay, that's important. Directly over the muscle group. Stretch out, come up and squeeze. Stretch down, come up and squeeze. Stretch down. Up and squeeze. Remember, you want to take your time. You want to feel what you're doing. We don't want to run. We want to walk. Come up and down. Let's get a couple of more. I want to make sure everyone sees what we're doing. Come up and down. Let's throw in just another hand grip. Jen, what I want you to do now, let's go right to neutral grip. Very good. We're going to a neutral grip now, and this is just going to take pressure now off your rotator cuff. So if anybody out there has rotator cuff problems, this is another way to bench press. You don't have to stop working your chest because your shoulder hurts. Here we go. We're going to come down, come up and squeeze. Down and out, get a full stretch, up and squeeze. So we've gone from pronated to supinated, from straight back to dropping the pelvis, okay? Bringing that low back and your glutes down. Let's get one more stretch. Come up and stop. Excellent. Very good. We're going to go into one of the best back movements you can do, and these are called back or dumbbell rows. Now, what you're going to see is that we're going to do them on a stability ball. Jen is going to bring her left leg back, and she's going to keep her right leg forward, okay? And once again, you don't have to go heavy. In this video, all we're using are threes, fives, and eights. Okay, remember we're not power lifters, we're bodybuilders, okay? And we're trying to build a body. Notice she's keeping her head up. Notice the space, notice the space between here and here. We're stretching out so she works her core at the same time, okay? And by coming out further, it's going to activate her core muscles. Here we go, Jen. Let's bring down and let's come up. Very important. Down, and let's come up. I'm going to come over here because I want to make sure you guys see what's going on. She's stretching now. She's stretching her lat muscle. Your lats or your back muscles come from your armpit into the waist. So she's coming down, stretching, coming up, and squeezing. We're not just pulling. We're stretching and squeezing. Very important. Okay? Very important. Come up, down, and up. Notice. She's coming down a little bit. Now watch this. Look at her wrist. She's keeping the wrist straight. She's not arching. She's not tilting. She's coming down, coming up and back. Keep those elbows up and keep those elbows coming to the hip. To the hip. Remember, the lat or the back is long. So we want to stretch it out and bring it back. 
Let's get a couple more. Let's see what they see. Here we go. A little slower. Start and the finish. The start and the finish. Very good, Jen. Excellent, excellent work. Okay, we're gonna drop this and we're gonna go, let's go right to abs now. Now, as you can see, her feet are on top of the ball, so you can do this at home, whether your legs are on the side of your bed or the side of a chair. You don't have to have a stability ball, but if you would like one, Finsight does sell them, okay? Here we go, Jen. Now notice, she's keeping the arms across the chest, she's keeping her chin up, and she's bringing now her shoulder blades off the floor and pausing at the top. The pause is important. A lot of times when you see pictures in magazines, all you see is the start and the finish. But we're missing something important. There's something that happens in between. I'm gonna show you. That's the finish, here's the start, finish. Now here's in between, come up, pause, okay? Your form happens in between. That's where you get muscle shape, muscle strength, okay? Come up and down. Let's get another three. Back up, hold and slow. Hold and slow. One more time, bring it up and down. Excellent. Jennifer now is about to go into some shoulder work. So our first move, okay, we're gonna use just three pounds. That's all you need. We're gonna do an isolation movement called shoulder or delt lateral. Lateral meaning coming away from the body. Okay, right now, Jennifer's sitting erect, head up, with her low back pulled in, very important posture, most important thing. Okay, Jen, let's go right into shoulder laterals. That's it, head up. I wanna show you guys something important. Not only is her posture correct here, but watch this, as she comes up, pause, look at her wrist. You gotta bend the wrist a little bit. When you do that, your delt will pop. It gets right in the medial head of your shoulder. Come up, hold, and slow. Remember now, we don't want momentum. Rhythm's good, but not momentum. Momentum means we're out of control. Rhythm means we're in control. Very good. Come back up again, up and down. Good, let's get another five. Now, when we're doing a workout like this, we want to average, I would say, anywhere between 15 to 20 repetitions. We want to keep the reps kind of high, why? Because we really want to flush the muscle with blood, because that's the key. You got to get blood into the muscle. Here we go, Jim, we're gonna do the shoulder press, and we're gonna come up overhead. As you see, she's using a pronated grip. That's an overhand grip. Come down to the shoulders, very important. Never, when you're doing a shoulder press, never come below the chin, okay? You can come down, but never below the chin, and always press equal or parallel to your ears. A lot of time, people press forward. We don't want to go forward. We want to go directly over the shoulder. Why? So we can incorporate all three heads. Down, come up and squeeze. That's it. Take your time. Feel the movement. It's important. Feel what you're doing. Don't just arbitrarily do this if you're in a rush. If you're in a rush, you shouldn't be doing this right now. You should get some sleep. Take your time. Know what you're doing, okay? Come up again. Let's get two more. I'm making to do two more because I lost count, actually. Here we go again. Back up and down, very good. Now we're gonna to go to ab work. 